Hi, my name is Rachel Smith speaking on the Heidi Rosen Oral Case Study, Management 6334, Seminar and Organizational Behavior. Rosen definitely maintains an extensive network built on both professional and personal individuals. While studying the Heidi Rosen case, I have concluded some of her strengths and weaknesses. Heidi Rosen's strengths are that she has invested a lot of time and effort to actively developing and building her network while keeping all of her relationships. Her long-term thinking enabled her to interact with people even if they were not well-known. Currently, Rosen has a strong, diverse network which give her established relationships while building strong ties and generating loyalty. Her relationships are long-lasting and give her the advantages of private information, access to diverse skill sets, and power. These values demonstrate how much trust truly exists in her network relationships. She's accessible to a wide range of people, including senior management, CEOs, Bill Gates, and is known to have the most extensive network in the Silicon Valley area. Her strong networks are due to careful selection within her focused industry by doing her homework before each meeting and following the what can I offer approach to give someone the reason to interact with her. Rosen has the ability to turn a brief conversation into one of substance, while actively managing it and using consistency and performance. She has mastered the skill of mixing professional and social networks, which give her access to the right people, so she can connect people who can benefit from knowing each other by offering mentoring and advice. Rosen is known as a crucial contact because people can rely on her for exchange of information, advice, and inspiration. She's also known as an information broker, a person who occupies a key role in a social network by connecting groups of people. Lastly, Rosen's strength is that she, her primary style is a giver. She enjoys helping others. She focuses on long-term best interest of others, even if it is not pleasant. She gives serious feedback and tough love, and her relationships and reputations are more visible. She is even able to call in favors to her network that she hasn't even spoken to in years. While examining Rosen's weaknesses, I have determined that she has a very large amount of contacts asking her for her time and help. She's very overwhelmed, and so it allows her to fall short on her personal responsibilities, become less productive, exhausted, and burnt out. Rosen states that she feels obligated to spend approximately two hours every day to provide feedback to every plan she receives. Therefore, she must be efficient in maintaining her network and ask for help. Rosen is biased on the fact that she prefers to work with companies that she has already funded, and she leverages her networks to benefit herself as well as others, but she'll only help if she sees a clear benefit to both parties first. She calls it a win-win situation. It seems that Rosen has a chaotic communication method when trying to reply to everyone who sends her emails and phone calls. But meanwhile, Rosen is adjusting and upholding her network as she continues as a venture capitalist. My advice to give Rosen regarding maintaining her network and influence others is that she should continue to maintain her network and continue building connections with inner organizational figures through work relationships, but also needs to focus on other networks because this will help expand her relationships. But she needs not to make decisions solely based on personal, professional relationships. Rosen should continue attending events and conferences and make sure to always maximize even the shortest, most casual conversations at those events. This will help her get more involved in associations and activities and gain access as well as increase personal exposure to people that she may not normally have access to. By doing this, Rosen has the ability to become a super connector, which is a powerful broker who shares their broad, diverse contacts. She should continue to approach someone because she has something to offer them, not because she wants something from them, and also make sure to add value to the relationship. Demonstrate the golden rule with consistency by always respond to them and do what you say you're going to do. And exhibit the principle of exchange to continue to give or receive with win-win situations. Rosen should continue to keep a balance and do not ask the same person for help too regularly. 
She should also host parties and events again. This will give opportunities for people to meet new people. I'd consider not using her house every time, maybe going to a different facility or another person's house. Rosen states that she spends two hours per, per day sending out rejection notes. Why not have her two full-time assistants help with communication and filter out all the takers? In conclusion, Rosen needs to continue to demonstrate wisdom to de determine when she can, should do, or either, because the difference in her role will put strains on her network as well as herself. I hope you've enjoyed my case study analysis. Here are my references that have helped.